Next up, Spur Corporation, which owns Spur Steak Ranches, Rockamamas, Panerotti's and John Dory's. It has a market cap of 3 billion rand, a PE ratio of 19.9 and a dividend yield of 4.71%. So everyone's talking about Rockamamas here because yes. it's done fantastically well. Amazing. It's continu continuing to do well. Um, the last financial statement, they actually reported that they bought another further 19%. So they now own 69%. Mm -hmm. They bought that 19% for 14 million. So it sort of values the whole Rocker Mama's business at around 70 million. Um, so that seems to have been a good acquisition. Yeah, so I mean that really is sort of uh, the highlight, uh, Rocker Mamas and that, that Hussar Grill that was also a more recent acquisition. If you looked at the recent results, that's where they're seeing particularly strong growth. And uh, I guess that's Rocker Mamas. You could sort of align to a Shake Shack type of uh, offering. Mm. Uh, it's sort of quite exciting and... Uh, it's uh, unique. Yes. A, a Great menu, um, good vibe, and uh, that's clearly what people are, are looking for. So mm. you do have to continue to innovate in the sector. Um, their, their core brands are actually seeing volume and uh, declines on, on the whole, particularly the Spur uh, business and uh, Captain Durago. So uh, this has helped them, I think, uh, soften the blow. Their earnings were down, but not nearly as much as uh, some of the others have reported. So let's touch on the local consumer because we sort of missed the local mm. part on famous brands. And let's talk about Spur. I mean, there's been a couple of factors there. They've had a, a few issues with their branding and uh, uh, the way they dealt with um, a, a big fight that happened in the yeah. Spurn and social media blow up. Um, but I think the predominant factor there is just the South African consumer not eating out as much, rather saving, going and cooking their own food. Yeah, and, and what you saw, for example, they had the, those offers on a, on a Monday. They had to curtail that. That mm. was actually costing them too much. So I think the franchise, the franchisees were complaining yes. that about the margins because yeah, of that. that's so you know you've got a, a stretched consumer. They're going to look for value. They're going to go to the spur instead of on a Saturday or Sunday on a Monday when mm. it's much cheaper. Still get the treat at half the price. So the, the, that's what's happening in this environment. People are becoming a loss more cost conscious, value conscious, uh, and as you say, treating themselves less. So overall, just a very tough environment. And it seems this, as we said, you know, people like food, but it is still is somewhat discretionary and you're seeing that mm. in the numbers. And it also seems like the sort of higher end brands, the Tashers and the Turn ten and, mm. uh, uh, turn and Tenders, yes. um, are more resilient. You know, the people with money are still eating out. It's the sort of lower ranges that are really taking strain. And that's normally what happens in an economy. Yes. Are you going to be hot or not on Spur? Sizzling hot. <laughs> <laughs> so Spur, I, you know, I think it's a bit more of a defensive brand. As you mentioned, they've got some interesting uh, growth areas. So I'm actually, if I had to pick one, I'm going to say I'm going to be hot on Spur. Okay, so you're hot on Spur. You better yeah. go to Rock and Mama straight <laughs> after <laughs> yes. this. I'm going to agree with you on that one. I do think that Rock and Mama's brand is fantastic. As, and the Spur brand has a great legacy. 